podcast if you do not know is the audio version of we can say a youtube not not exactly the audio version but the reason podcast has grown exponentially is uh, there's something about you don't want to watch everything that you want to podcast allows you to listen to things while you're doing other things and not every time you are doing this no uh, very uh, tedious or very brain intensive thing so when you are say for example gardening or or washing dishes or walking at that time you are more relaxed and that time when you're listening to podcast it directly goes to your brain and that has been proven by multiple research and that is one of the reasons that podcast has become has grown exponentially it started initially with us but no europe and india and other countries are catching up very very fast and you can find literally millions of podcasts now on almost any topic you go and search and if you want to build a influence that is probably the this is probably the best time where it is now people are getting aware about podcast and i'm telling it in the context of indian uh, indian context that people are now getting really uh, aware about podcast but at the same time it is still not very crowded so if you ever have a thought that no how can i impact more people how can i reach out probably this is one of the time to start so i put it in five things five points that i want to talk about first is what is podcast we just discussed it's more of an audio form and there are when i say audio form it's not only audio there are people who actually record and put it on youtube and they also call it you uh, know podcast so it's not only audio but when we think about podcast most of the times it is the audio part of it where you have it on say apple you have it on spotify you have google podcast people put it on youtube and there are so many other places where you have podcast so the question comes why you want to do podcast so first of all it's a great marketing tool and if you are having say youtube is a good chance you will become a great podcaster it's a rapidly growing industry and people are more uh, tuning into listen to podcast versus you know watching in youtube because if you are watching or something you have to pay complete attention close attention you have to stop doing everything else but if you are listening to podcast you can listen to podcast and walk uh, and i take my own example i have listened to so many podcasts while i'm going for a morning walk evening walk even at times i'm going for grocery shopping which i yeah which i really hate doing the grocery shopping uh, i i have i will download one or two podcasts and keep listening so that no at least i'm learning or i i'm having entertainment versus just going out there and yeah trying to buy the grocery so even when you are doing the mundane thing it can really impact you and you can learn something uh, it can it is still come to but there is going to be a point where you will be getting directly monetized Uh, so if i look at it uh, most of the times i think in us if you get a certain number of downloads uh, you get get some money it is yet to come into say uk or india uh, but there are a lot of times where people are indirectly making money by in the form of say collaborations so people collaborate with brands and say okay this podcast is sponsored by so and so and then they talk about that so that's another way uh, i'm going to ask you to actually think about what is your why because when you are clear about your why it helps you plan your think and uh, if you are just starting out podcast don't worry about monetizing and other things that happens over the course of time but that should not be your primary concern so that is the why part of it now let's see what it works how it works where so i'm going to actually after this i'm going to switch to uh, different gears uh, but podcast is different from youtube and how is it different is in youtube it is very simple you create a gmail or google account and you create your youtube channel you upload your video and you schedule or you go through it that's it podcast is different because podcast have something called a podcasting platform and then you have distribution platform and what i mean by that uh, is that you have a place where you upload your podcast recorded edited version and that platform actually send it to multiple places so you don't have to 
when you say my podcast is available on apple or google or spotify you are not sending or uploading your podcast to spotify or google or apple you have something called you can say largely you can say it's an agent uh, you have uh, and there are different uh, such platforms one of them is anchor then there is buzz sprout and there is there are more where you at one place you upload your podcast and it becomes available so what i'm going to do now is i'm actually going to open my own anchor account where i am using and there are reasons why i'm using anchor and uh, and you're going to see how it happens when i have the uh, podcast published so what you see here is the website called anchor.fm this is one of the podcasting platform and you can sign up in there if you want to build and this is my podcast as you can see small town bigger dreams podcast and you can you can see it is available on nine platforms so uh, and you can see here i have it on spotify and then it is also on apple google overcast amazon music iheart radio and blah 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 so what anchor is is more like a agent in between so every time i want to have a new uh, podcast i will go and i'll create a new uh, episode and i'm going to go through the process in in next point but this particular platform anchor is the one where my podcast are uploaded and then anchor takes it to apple or google or spotify and all i don't have to go to nine different places to upload so that is a great thing about having this uh, similar to uh, anchor there is uh, websites like you no know, buzz sprout and uh, others like that now the good thing about anchor is it is completely free you don't have to pay any money at any point of time uh, other platform most of the other platforms are either uh, free to a certain limit or they are completely uh, you no know, you have to pay money of course it has got its own uh, benefits but personally i don't see a reason why somebody should not be using anchor it has got very good features and a lot of things so so i hope this concept is clear that anchor is the agent which is sharing to other places now the third point which comes when it comes to podcast and feel free to stop me or put your question in the chat if you have any uh, if i am going too fast as well is how do you actually get your podcast out so the first step and actually uh, there should be a first step is create account so you can create account on anchor or something so which is very simple go to anchor.fn and create a new account and then there there is a five step framework my own five step framework that i use for uh, end to end podcasting from the ideation to the uh, finally marketing but before that what i want to cover is two more things which is what are the types of podcast now there are different types of podcast uh, one is monologue where you are the podcast host and you are talking to the people assuming people are listening and there is only one person that's one type of podcast the other type is where you have two host for example one of our community member prigya she runs a podcast where she is having another host with her co host with her and they both do a podcast on the legal stuff or legal entrepreneur and trademarks and things like that so they they are there are two host and they are doing a dialogue that's the second type of podcast that we have the third type is which is an interview so you become the host and you interview different people from your field different experts different subject matter different no uh, celebrities things like that so but ultimately it is your podcast but you are uh, asking people to come and join for the interview they are sharing your detail their details their their no opinion their remarks and you keep posting it on your podcast and the last one is a combination in my case i am probably i'm going to say i used to do a lot of interviews so my podcast started in 2021 and it's an interesting story i'm going to share so 2020 after lockdown i wanted to try something so i went to youtube created my channel then i got to know about podcasting and i said 
I am a person who loves trying out. So I said, I want to create a podcast. I want to uh, uh, upload podcasts. So I signed up for an anchor account. I created that, but I did not know what I want to talk about. So I started interviewing people. So if you look at my podcast, the old episodes of my podcast, most of them are uh, basically I've done interview of somebody uh, uh, and it is there on YouTube and it is now I got the audio and I put it also on our anchor and became an episode. So I've done a lot of interview podcasts, but season two, which started from this January and we have done, I think around uh, five episodes or six episodes. We'll be doing publishing the next episode tomorrow. Uh, I am mostly going solo. I'm talking about certain concept and I am focusing very less on interviews, but only getting some of the best industry leaders. So for example, I recently interviewed a person named Matthew Dix, who's the author of story worthy. So that interview will go on my podcast versus all the other interviews that I keep doing or all the other collaboration that I have. So that's how I'm building it to keep only 25% or less of interviews and 75% of the concepts and examples or actual stories. So that's how uh, I am putting my podcast out there. So back to the mind map, you have monologues, you have dialogues, you have interview, you have combination and you can do all more things or all the more things where you can ask people to get quiet, give you a question and you just answer that. I've seen such podcast as well. The most important thing is to remember whether it comes to storytelling, whether it comes to social media, whether it comes to YouTube or even when it comes to podcasting is remembering why FM for anyone who is going to listen to your podcast. You should know why they are listening. What is it in it for them? Uh, if you remember this why FM, if you remember why you want to share and what they will get out of your podcast, it will make your journey easier. So that's the how part of it. Now I want to share my own five step framework that I use and you can also make use of it. So I have this five step framework. The first one is the ideate where basically I think about what do I want to talk about? I've not recorded a podcast for tomorrow, uh, but I will be this afternoon or this evening. I will be thinking about what is the concept? What is the idea that I want to share in this podcast? So first step is ideation where I will note down points. I will do my research. Uh, I will keep my you know, pointers ready when I go and record. The second step comes when you have the recording. And even in recording, I again follow a four step process, which is basically and that you can use the same process for creating a YouTube video or any other Art, articles blog itself and that is called hook intro main content outro and uh, I'm actually going to shift to my anchor and to actually show how this actually works. So let me shift to one of the so as you can see I'm now in the anchor and I'm going to let's say yeah this is the episode uh, last episode which was 11 places to use storytelling and uh, I'm going to show you how it works. So see, as you can see, the episode has got four different parts. One is the trailer or the hook. Then I have my own podcast intro. Then I have the main content and then I have the outro. Uh, so let me just play a bit of all of that for you to go through that. Have you ever wondered where exactly can you use storytelling? Well, the answers are so many places. And in this podcast, I am going to share 11 different places where you can use storytelling for effectiveness. So this was, a, as you can see, it's a very small two, three line hook or two, three line trailer. If you can see this only 23 second long. And there's a probably three or four seconds of music before that and after that. So if you do this trailer, what happens is your, uh, your listeners will know that what exactly are you going to uh, talk about it. And this I've done after listening to hundreds of podcasts on different genre. 
uh, that you know all the best all the most interesting podcast have this particular format where they gave a hook of 20 to 30 seconds that you no know, okay guys have you ever wondered what are the different elements required for uh, you know, creating a podcast for example now that becomes a hook that will keep people listening to your podcast so that's the very first thing the second thing which kind of i have standardized for everyone which is our intro so i'm going to play probably a bit of the intro Hey there, welcome to season 2 of Small Town Bigger Dreams podcast. I am your host Harito Srivastava, a public speaking coach, certified mentor and author of amazing bestseller Small Town Bigger Dreams. I am on a mission to impact millions of lives by helping them find their true voice and become the best version of themselves. I am so excited to launch the season 2 of this small town bigger dreams podcast if you have not yet checked out we published 30 episodes in season 1 now in this season we will be focusing on public speaking communication and storytelling Hope okay so i'm stop here so as you can see in this is a generic intro and what i've done is i've actually created this intro and recorded from the very first episode and i put it in every single episode because it, it is doing multiple things. One is it is making it a standard thing that every time you go the through the episode, you'll see, okay, this is the hook. And then I talk about what is this podcast all about? What are the things that you can get in previous episode? And then I also ask people to take action and subscribe and all those things. Uh, so that has kind of become a standard. It's about one minute, 18 seconds. And now the, com the comes the main content, which is you can see it's about 11 minute, 23 seconds. And I then put the main content over here. So this is the third part of it. I am very sure you would have heard the term that use stories for it, effective communication, use story for advertisement and so on and so forth. But have you ever thought where exactly can you use story? What are the different options when it comes to storytelling? Now, let me tell you 11 different places or 11 different categories where you can it effectively use storytelling and that can become a game changer for you. Let's get started. So the first one or the first place where you can use effective storytelling is let's let's talk about the obvious. It's the you know, movies, the movies, whether it's the documentaries, the TV shows or even theater, wherever these kind of performance arts are there. Having a let me let me share one quick uh, behind the scene something with you. So when I'm recording my podcast, I am preparing my notes in advance. I'm not uh, I'm not one of those person who will say, okay, have word by word uh, for whether your stories or whether your podcast. But if you can see before recording this podcast, I have this notes in front of me. Now, I hope it is visible. So I've already made my notes, which is part of the ideation and research. Like, okay, and first one I want to talk about is the movies and then public speaking and teaching. And what I'm doing is when I'm recording, I'm referring to these notes and adding few stories on to that, adding my favorite uh, public speaker or adding, adding my own experience. I have seen uh, worse pitches, best pitches. So when you are recording your podcast, I'm going to say that if you if you need to use a cheat sheet, there's nothing. Nobody's going to say, ah, how can you uh, how can you are uh, using a notes or something? There's no problem at all. And same applies for your YouTube videos as well. If you're planning to do that, you can very well use notes. Make sure that you're not only I mean, with YouTube is because you have to also look at the cameras and don't read from your notes. But having your own notes in front of you can give you more confidence. And then it can help you structure your thoughts in a way. So back to uh, sharing the episode details. So we saw that I had the hook and I had the podcast intro. Then this is a main content about 11 and a half minute. And then at the end, I'm also asking them to uh, yeah, download or share and subscribe. So this is called call to action or CTA or outro, which is about 50 seconds or so. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Small Town Bigger Dreams Podcast Season 2. Hope you found this useful. 
if you did rate us on apple podcast so that it reaches more people do share this episode with someone who may need to hear this i can't wait to see you for the next week's episode you can also take a screenshot and tag me on instagram as coach harito shrivastav so here basically i'm giving a lot of call to action for them they can subscribe they can download they can tag me and this is what you want to do at the end of you no know, one of the best ways whether it comes to presentation storytelling or youtube or podcast is give them something to work upon it could mean your your subscribing or downloading it could also mean that you no know, go ahead and list down things write in a comment whatever it is people want to be guided and if you give them a plan you give them a path they feel really good about it so back to my mind map if you can clearly see that in the second step where i have the record i am using this same four step formula you have the hook you have a intro you have the main content and you have the outro or call to action so that you can use and the third step comes which is editing now i want i am recording my uh, podcast on a tool called uh, a tool called audacity so i'm going to share again screen and show you how audacity looks like and that makes it much easier for me to record and then also remove some of the ahs ums and etc like that because when you're speaking in the flow a lot of time these unwanted words come so do, 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 do. so this is the tool called audacity and i am recording all my podcast and everything in this tool so it's a very easy tool you can install on your computer or on your phone as well and i use here to record i don't know whether it's going to capture that but you can see these waves so whenever there is a sound going inside that uh, it will capture that and then you can pause and you can actually play and then if there is unwanted sound you can do so it is little bit of tedious process at the first time but once you get into and i know a lot of people who just go about it naturally don't do much of editing and that is also completely fine uh, but audacity is a great tool if you are looking to uh, a place for recording not everybody wants to record on zoom and use it so you can use audacity you can do a little bit of editing as well if there is some unwanted section you don't want some words that was not supposed to be there you can just select and click on delete and it will go and you can copy paste a lot of things that you can do uh, that comes the editing part so once you have done ideation once you have recorded and once you have edited the fourth step comes where it comes to upload so if you saw the anchor there is an option called new episode and whenever your episode is ready you can go ahead and upload there put a title and description and uh, let me share again for example i want to do a new episode i actually have to do a new episode for tonight so i'll go here and this is where i will start bringing in my audio files you can use some of your previous files you can record over here and once you do that uh, i'm going to just go to library and i'm going to go to so two things i as i said i always have something called intro and outro so this is intro and then you have outro so my episodes high level i need two things now i need a hook and i need the made content but my intro is there and my outro is there i'm going to actually save this i can come back always and and update that so once i save it will come here and then here is what i am going to share all the details like what do you want to call this episode what is the description of the episode when do i want to publish i publish my episode on every monday and you can choose your date and time so you can choose when when you want to publish uh if you have a spotify you can add some polls and all and this is where uh, you can add a new episode art and basically a uh, graphics you don't have to really every time and this is where you can say okay this is season 2 and i'm going to record the seventh episode so this is season 2 episode 7 is it a full episode it is just a trailer or it is a bonus episode 
and it's a clean or you're using some explicit language you can also specify that and i'm gonna actually save it as a draft so i'll record my podcast and, and uh, okay i need to put some I'll put the detail later I want. I'm just gonna put the storytelling in the two column. I'm gonna save it as draft. Now if I go to the episodes tab, I can see there is a storytelling which is saved. And anytime whenever my recording is available, I can go ahead here and click on edit audio and upload those files as well. So that's the upload part of it. and okay so is my screen visible can you see the master uh, mind map okay great thank you so once you do that once you upload the next part come which is the share which is where uh, i share uh, the podcast so that is why you get all my broadcasts all my notification i have a telegram community so once i said say on monday 9 a.m or 10 a.m my podcast is live that's where I will go back to anchor and I will be able to, uh, let's see, I go here and I can see, okay, my podcast, this podcast is published on this. And also I can go here and say podcast availability. I click on this Spotify, open a new tab and I can see, okay, if I go to Spotify link. So by the way, if you go to Spotify, you'll find it exactly the same small town bigger teens podcast and I can go and I can say, okay, my podcast episode is now live and I can click on, okay, 11 places to use. There is in all the places you get uh, something called this, which is basically you can share and you will get a link and then you can share it on WhatsApp, on Facebook, on other places. So that's uh, about marketing. As they say, unless you market, nobody is going to know that you're doing this. Uh, so it's very, very important that you market your podcast. Now, the last bit that I want to uh, share is some of my lessons and best practices. So not too many, but three things. Number one is the consistency. Uh, if you are planning to start a podcast, and this is where my failure also came. Uh, I started a podcast in 2021 and I was very ambitious. I didn't plan ahead and I said, okay, I'm going to upload a podcast every fortnight and it went on for a few months. And then because I didn't had a plan, I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, after a few months, it, it became a chaos. I was uh, putting it anytime when I get a chance and it was not structured. And I thought podcast almost my podcast almost died at that point of time. And nobody knew there is a podcast. So that is why when I was doing my research and, and looking at places and analyzing the best podcasts, I found out that they have a set schedule that, okay, it, it is every Monday or every week, three, every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, or every fortnight, they have a set schedule that they tell to their audience or to their listeners as well. So if you are planning to have a podcast, Think about it. What is a reasonable consistency that you have? Uh, things happen in life. You, if you say, okay, I'm going to put a podcast episode every day, unless you are superhuman, there are chances that you may not be able to do unless it is your full-time job. That's a separate thing. So you have to be practical. You might want to do three episodes per week, uh, but I'm going to advise if you want to start a new podcast, don't have something which is uh, less than a fortnight. So you publish a podcast every fortnight. So that's a first learning of best practices that at least have it for fortnight. If fortnight is a good time, it's not too long, but it's also not too short as well. So people can actually uh, go through your podcast and go through that. The second learning that I had uh, is in terms of audio equipment. Now, uh, people can forgive you for bad video in YouTube, but they don't forgive you for bad audio. So it is very, very important that if you're listening to a podcast, which is all about audio, the worst one thing that I did was I invested in a good quality microphone. Now this is little costly one, but you don't have to, 
yes i am using blue yeti that's correct uh, and i love this blue yeti you don't have to have blue yeti this is i think 10000 plus rupees or something like that equivalent but at least get a proper earpiece get a proper you no know, good quality uh, lavalier mic or something which is capturing your audio in a way i think there are some now softwares also that helps you with removing the no noise and other things and secondly make sure that you are recording at a time where there is no honking there is no banging on the door or dogs are not barking so and that depends on place to place i'm not going to say only record at this time but try to find out at what point there is less noise in your area because if there is lot of you know lot of noise on the background and and uh, your listener get distracted they are not going to listen to your podcast and that is the reason more many of the podcasters they actually record late in the night like you no know, late in the sense 11 pm or 4 am where there is very less chance of distraction otherwise you have to do lot of setup you have to have a sound absorbing room and foam and all those things i'm not going to recommend all of this but see which is the time when you have less noise outside when you're recording keep your doors closed and make sure that you're using a good quality microphone which is capturing your audio more than other audio uh, but make sure that try to record at one at that time when you have less noise outside less distraction which will uh, directly show up in your audio quality and the third best practice that i'm going to share with you is plan ahead if you want to start a podcast don't publish a podcast unless you have material for next 4 to 5 uh, episodes and a lot of uh, podcaster i know they say okay if i'm doing a weekly podcast i need to have material for next 6 weeks or so so that uh, at any point of time i still have 4 to 5 episode ready to go and then i am going because what you don't want to do which yeah i'm, I'm going to admit that i'm not recorded for tomorrow's podcast i should have should have been recording that uh, but you don't want to get into the place where you are almost there and you don't have anything recorded and you are worried that whether i will be able to do it or not and if you're not able to do then you feel guilt nobody tells you anything but you feel like okay i promised to everyone but i'm not able to publish it is looking bad uh, it's our mind playing with us but you don't want to get into a situation so if you plan to have a podcast make sure that you are having enough material for next 3 4 5 weeks uh, that help helps you and that really gives you more confidence and once you and even from the podcast perspective once you go live with 3 4 episodes this is where your the platform start looking at okay this person is consistent he is constantly sending a new episode to my platform i should probably promote more this is where algorithm comes into the picture